सी आई ई टी एन सी ई आर टी प्रेजेंट्स ऑडियो बुक हेल्थ एंड फिजिकल एजुकेशन द टेक्स्ट बुक फॉर क्लास नाइन्थ चैप्टर सिक्स इंडिविजुअल स्पोर्ट्स पेज नंबर फिफ्टी सेवन जिम्नास्टिक्स द वर्ड जिम्नास्टिक्स हैज बीन डिराइव फ्रॉम द ग्रीक वर्ड जिम्नोस मीनिंग नेकेड आर्ट इन एंशियंट ग्रीक द वर्ड जिम्नास्टिक्स वॉज यूज टू डिनोट द एक्सरसाइज डन विद द नेकेड बॉडी Guts Mutz is known as the grandfather of modern gymnastics and Friedrich Ludwig Jahn is known as the father of gymnastics. Modern gymnastics is regulated by the Federation Internationale de Gymnastique FIG which was founded in 1881. Gymnastics was included in the modern Olympic Games in 1896 and women gymnastics was introduced in Olympic Games in 1928. The first gymnastics world cup was organized in 1975. At present gymnastics as an event can be seen in almost all the known multi sports meets. 6.3.1 Types of gymnastics. Broadly gymnastics has been classified in three types that is basic gymnastics, sportive gymnastics and auxiliary gymnastics. Sportive gymnastics is further categorized as artistic men and women rhythmic aerobics acrobatics and trampoline gymnastics This chapter deals with artistic gymnastics which is a popular discipline of gymnastics Artistic gymnastics apparatus for men are floor exercise pommel horse roman rings vaulting table parallel bars and horizontal bar For women the apparatus are vaulting table uneven bars balancing beam and floor exercises 6.3.2 basic skills of artistic gymnastics as you know now gymnastics is performed on various apparatus and for all the apparatus some skills are identified as the basic skills of the game some basic skills apparatus wise are listed below number 1 floor exercises floor exercises are done on floor carpet measurement of floor mat is given in figure 6.5 handstand handstand is an inverted gymnastics controlled skill performed by supporting the body on both hands with the arm straight and the body vertical please see figure 6.5 5.1 cartwheel cartwheel is a common gymnastic skill where a gymnast starts with one leg push and places her or his hands on the ground in the same line while kicking with other leg up into a side handstand the gymnast then lands with one leg on the other side followed by the other leg please see figure 6.6 page number 58 Figure six point five point one, handstand. This figure has five images. In the first image, we can see the gymnast is preparing to do a handstand. In the second one, he is slightly bent forward, with his hands stretched out, and body slightly bent forward. In the third picture, he is touching the ground with his hands. His left leg is up in the air, stretched out, and his right leg is. exactly horizontal to the ground in the fifth picture we can see he is standing on his hands both legs are up but not together and in the final picture we can see a straight line both legs are joined stretched out and he is standing on his hands there is one more figure on the page figure 6.6 which shows how a cartwheel is done the figure has five images showing a gymnast preparing for a cartwheel in different stages and at the end he reaches the final posture now coming back to the chapter front handspring front handspring is a forward tumbling skill that starts with a step or a hurdle the body then bounces on to the hands and rotates through a handstand before landing on the feet figure 6.7 figure 6.7 shows how a gymnast performs front handspring 
there are seven stages before he reaches the final posture. In the first one, he readies himself. In the second one, his left leg is bent. The right one is stretched behind fully. In the third one, he is bent from the waist. In the fourth one, we can see he has touched the ground with his hands and his head is between the hands. The right leg is completely stretched upwards. The left leg's toe is touching the ground. In the fifth one, he is doing a complete handstand. The sixth image shows he is completely off the ground, forming an arch. And in the seventh one, he takes the final position, standing straight on his legs, with his arms totally stretched and his head between his hands. Round off. Round off is a common gymnastics movement that leads into many more difficult skills. It is performed by pushing off one leg, swinging legs quickly in a cartwheel motion and landing on both feet with a half turn. It is usually the initial skill for all backward tumbling movements. Please see figure 6.7.1. There is one more figure on the page, 6.7.1, which shows how round off is done. Time for some activity now. Activity 6.3 The student must learn to perform 5 floor exercises as per availability of the apparatus. Page number 59 2. Pommel horse Figure 6.8 Leg swings are considered as one of the basic swings on pommel horse. These are sideways swings which are performed with legs apart. Leg swings are the basis for scissors, leg cuts and undercuts and one leg circle. Please refer figure 6.8.1. One leg circle can be done with right as well as left leg. The procedure and technique of leg circle is given in figure 6.8.2. In figure 6.8, we can see how a pommel horse looks like. In figure 6.8.1, we can see how a gymnast performs leg swings. Similarly, figure 6.8.2 shows how a gymnast does one leg circle. Page number 60. 3. Roman rings. Figure 6.9. In location, this skill is typically performed by kicking heels high behind in a backward swing. On the top of the swing, head rolls forward and arms and shoulder rotate inwards bringing the body once again into a pike position. Please see figure 6.9.1. Figure 6.9 shows how Roman rings look like and how they are hanged. Figure 6.9.1 shows how a gymnast performs in location. Dislocation. This is a skill in gymnastics that involves a rotation of the shoulders when performing a forward swing or movement. Dislocation requires a good degree of shoulder flexibility. Please check figure 6.9.2. In figure 6.9.2, we can see how a gymnast performs dislocation. Page number 61. 4. Vaulting table. Squat vault. In this skill, a gymnast crosses over the vaulting table with knees bent and body bent from the hips. Figure 6.10 shows the various stages performed by a gymnast in a squat vault. Split vault. In this skill, the body bends forward from the hips as the feet pass over the table with split legs apart. Legs. Figure 6.10.1 Similarly, figure 6.10.1 shows the various stages performed by a gymnast in a split vault. Similarly, figure 6.11 shows how a parallel bar looks like. 5. Parallel bars. Please check figure 6.11. Upper arm support swing. At the start of front swing, the body is straight and slightly pike with shoulders as high as possible. Thereafter, the body swings backward. Please see figure 6.11.1. Figure 6.11.1 shows a gymnast performing upper arm support swing. Page number 62. L hold position. In this position, the gymnast's arms, legs and body are held straight over the parallel bars 
while legs are brought at an angle of 90 degrees at the hips in support position. Please see figure 6.11.2. 6. Horizontal bar. Figure 6.12. Front hip circle. In this skill, the body acquires a forward movement around the bar while touching upper part of thigh to the bar and body rotates forward and downward around the bar in a circle. Back hip circle. In this skill, the body acquires a backward movement around the bar with the hips resting on the bar and the body rotating backward and downward around the bar in a circle. Figure 6.12 shows how a horizontal bar looks like. 7. Balancing beam. Figure 6.13. Balance on one leg. T balance. In this skill, a gymnast stands on one leg, with other leg backward above horizontal level, keeping arms sideways and holds the position for two seconds. Walking on the beam. In this skill, the gymnast rocks the knees with feet pointing on each step and performs walk with variations in arms movements. Eventually, the arms position can be combined during the walk on each step, changing from straight arms out to crown up and vice versa. Page number 63. 8. Uneven bars. Figure 6.14. Front hip circle. The gymnast initiates the skill from support position. The gymnast falls forward with a tight body, touching upper thigh or stomach, leaning well forward to initiate momentum and to complete the forward circle. Back hip circle. In this skill, from support position, a gymnast takes back swing, brings body forward, and by touching the upper thigh with the bar, takes shoulders backward and rotates around the bar. Evaluation procedure for the above elements. Movements There are four elements on floor exercises and two elements each on all other apparatuses given in this chapter. The evaluation of these elements will be done as per the following procedure. A. Value of each element is 5.00 points. Each element will be evaluated out of 5 points. B. Value of 4 elements on floor exercises is equal to 20 points. 4 elements into 5 points each is equal to 20 points. C. Value of 2 elements on pommel horse is equal to 10. 2 elements into 5 points each is equal to 10. D. Value of 2 elements on rings is equal to 10 points. E. Value of two elements on vaulting table is equal to 10 points. F. Value of two elements on parallel bars is equal to 10 points. G. Value of two elements on horizontal bars is equal to 10 points. H. Value of two elements on balancing beam is equal to 10 points. I. Value of two elements on uneven bars is equal to 10 points. The total value for the boys section comes to 70 points, that is 20 for floor and 50 for the rest of the 5 apparatuses. The total value for the girls section comes to 50 points, that is 20 for floor and 30 for rest of the 3 apparatuses. Figure 6.14 shows how an uneven bar looks like. You are just listening to this audiobook. Narrator Neeraj Yadav, Technical Coordinator, Buddy Langlingdo, Sound Recordist, Vikas Sangwan, Assistance in Production, Ruchi Sharma, Directed and Produced by Vimalesh Chaudhary. This audiobook is presented to you by CIET and CERT, New Delhi, India.